Hi, and welcome back to Grassroots Crypto, where I like to teach people about crypto. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of 4chain's first interfaces, AsgardX. So what is AsgardX? AsgardX is a multi-chain, self-custody wallet and interface for the ThorChain Decentralized Exchange. It provides support for all chains and assets on ThorChain. AsgardX being one of the first interfaces was born out of the same ethos of open source, transparent, permissionless, and community driven. AsgardX is a desktop app and is supported on many environments like Windows, Mac, and Linux. It offers a wide range of functionality for users at different skill levels. So in this video, we're gonna go through the process from downloading to making a swap. First, to get AsgardX, we're gonna to need to download it. So how do we do it? Here we have the AsgardX repo in GitHub. This is where all the code is stored. So if you wanna go ahead and verify the code yourself, you can. If you don't wanna do that, you just wanna know how to download. First, you look for this releases part here and then click on that. This will show you all the releases, the current as well as the previous releases. You've got the latest one here and then down below you'll have the assets and these are the downloadables you can download. I'm gonna be downloading the one for Windows but you can select whatever you need for your operating system. I've saved that and I wait for that to download. On Windows, you get this pop-up, click more info and run anyway. Here's the app. To get started, you need to create or import a wallet. To create a new wallet, press create. Copy the C words. If you don't have with them, you can refresh until you find ones you want. Copy the C words, set a password and set a wallet name so you can refer to it later. Then you need to put these back in the right order to ensure you've written it down correctly. To import, you can upload your key store, put the password and name it, or you can import a seed phrase. And this can be a seed phrase that you've used in a previous wallet. Here's a blank wallet with all the chains shown. You can see the addresses here, so you can copy that for fast reference later on. AsgardX also has a handy night mode. In the settings, there's private data, which hides your amount as well as your addresses. Let's do a swap between Rune and BNB. We can change our input asset as well as our swap asset. Let's go BNB, BNB. Enter the amount you want, five Rune, or you can use the slider. Check the output, check the details. If you like it, press swap. If you want to earn yield on your crypto, you can add to savers. Click earn. Select the asset you want. Click the amount you want to add. Check the details. Then click earn. That's a quick look at AsgardX and how to get started. We'll cover more functionality in future videos. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this and send it to your friends to share the knowledge. Until next time, thanks, bye.